Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got Brooks here and my mom. We are going to be touring her new home. It's so pretty. She's got it decorated for fall. So we're gonna go in and show a Mimi's house, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys have requested this, so I'm finally doing it for you guys. And I'm so excited to show you guys what she's done. Do you love Mimi's house? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You do, don't you? All right, let's go ahead inside. All right, here is the outside of the house. I love it so much. Brooks is running around, but she's got some wood shutters and she's done some landscaping now. She has some plants, so it is so pretty. And she's decorated the front porch as well. She made this little scarecrow. She's got mums. And then here's the little front porch. They still have to do a couple pieces up here, but here's the front door decorated for fall. That looks so pretty. And then she's got a swing. I love it. So we are in the house now, and she's got this cute little entryway off of the garage. And then she's also decorated one of the guest bathrooms. I thought I'd show you guys because it is just so cute. So I love the hardwood floors they chose. They're really light. And then here's the vanity, it's so pretty. And then she's just got like a black mirror. Here's the shelf all decorated, super cute. And then she has some pumpkins on here. I love this soap, it smells so good. We've been looking for a fall scent in this one but haven't been able to find it. But we always get it at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then she's got a little sign over here. So very, very cute. But anyways, moving on to this little entryway, she's got a sign here, a little shelf with some hooks and berries, and then a couple of bags. I actually got her this bag for Mother's Day. And then she's got some wheat and leaves in there. She's got this little, kind of like a brick mold. I got her that as well. Actually, I'm always picking up stuff and she is for me too, but then she has a little bench here. So very sweet little area. So now we're in the living room slash kitchen slash dining room. And here it is now all finished. I think it's so beautiful. So I'll walk you around the room and kind of give you guys an overview of how everything looks and how it's decorated and i think it's adorable so let's start with the kitchen here it is over here i love that the cabinets are all along like one main wall and she has a huge island and i like that she chose black i think it really pops i just love it it's so big and you can sit on here and eat and have plenty of room. So very, very pretty. She's got some pendants and it looks like she put some berries up on there as well. That's really cute. And then on the hood vent, she actually added a leaf wreath, which I think is really cute too. But let's start over here. So she's got her little KitchenAid mixer. She has some cutting boards. It looks like she's got a candle. That is just such a cute little setup. You guys look at this. Mimi is the name, spoiling is the game. Is that not the truth? <laughs> That's so cute. Over here, she's got a vintage looking scale with some pumpkins in there and leaves. And then I know she got these canisters from Hobby Lobby and the Spring Shop line. Looks like she has some caramel apples too. Um, and then some more cutting boards with a little beaded um, garland and then some pumpkins. And then this is actually there. I think it's finally focused, but this is a little wooden leaf. That is super cute. And then some rope looking pumpkins. Over there, she's got her cookbooks and a coffee sign. And then over here, she's got a little coffee set up. She's just got some Ray Dunn mugs, her Keurig machine, and then she's got some floating shelves with some just Ray Dunn stuff and bowls. And yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen. She does have a farmhouse sink and I love that. I think it's so pretty. You can look out into the living room and do your dishes. It's, it's huge too. It is very large. And then the microwave is tucked away down there. Okay, she also has this thankful sign and a couple of DIY pumpkins on the island. And that's all she's got. So, 
super duper cute. In the dining room, she's got some more berries on her chandelier, and then she has her table all set up. Super cute. They actually had their table painted, so they just used their previous table, but it's now white. And then the chairs were painted black. Here are her table settings. She's got like a wicker uh, charger and then a wooden charger and then some really flat plates. I love those, they're kind of matte. And then she's got some linen napkins with a galvanized napkin ring and then a couple of leaf picks. That's really cute. Looks like they alternate colors too. All the leaves are different colors, but really pretty. And then she has a three-tiered tray as the centerpiece. She's got pumpkins and berries and signs, all kinds of really cute stuff in there. And then over here, she's got a shelf and it has tons of pumpkins and leaves and stuff on there. Really cute, but I love this sign. I think she got it from Hobby Lobby. Above the window, she has some leaves and a sign. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so going into the living room, she's got it all set up here. I like that the furniture is all in the middle of the room. It's really easy to navigate. I guess I'm so used to a sectional now where you can't get around it, but I like how you can go into the living room in different areas, but anywho, she's got her couch and side tables and she's got two metal pumpkins on either side of the side tables and they just have some leaves in there. I think this is actually a ring from Hobby Lobby and then she's got a candle. She's got all the fall colors, which I love. I think it's really pretty. So she's got lots of pillows on there. And then she's got Cozy White Cottage book. You guys know we're obsessed with Liz Marie. And then a little house, a pumpkin, and then a little vase with some wheat and berries on a little tray, super cute. And then I love that the office has these barn doors, really pretty. She's got a farmhouse sign above there. And then she just got some grapevine wreaths and then added some picks to them. So very cute. And then in here is the office slash Brooks's playroom, which is so cute. But she's got some leaves above the window she also has some garland on um, the little dresser in here and a little reading nook for Brooks and then some toys tucked away. It's really cute. And then she's got her fireplace, which is one of my favorite features of the house. I think it, this is so beautiful. It's got shiplap going up to the ceiling and then it's got a really chunky wood mantle, which I love. So the people who made their cabinets actually have wood and they are able to get a big chunk of wood for the mantle from them. And then they've got a brick, um, I don't know what this is called, but <laughs> brick fireplace, there we go. So very pretty. It was neat because a guy actually came in here and laid all of the brick. So I really didn't even know that was an option for electric fireplaces, but very pretty. She's got on here some candlesticks and then a bunch of leaves. She has some wood beaded garland. And then these are kind of like knitted pumpkins. How cute is that? I love that, so cute hello fall sign and then some more candlesticks i think she likes it symmetrical like i do which is so funny i've never even thought about that but she's got two of the same candlesticks two of the white ones and then it's all even so very cute down here she's got a gnome that has a pumpkin and then some wooden pumpkins and then she's got a little apple cider sign over there so really cute and then she just got these chairs not too long ago they're kind of like a plaid neutral with like gray and cream and then here's another side table she just has some houses and then this black scale i actually have this scale too and you guys know how versatile it is you can use it on fireplaces entryway tables 
side tables like this. I mean, you can use it so many different ways. I love this piece. So she's got some leaves and pumpkins on there as well. Really, really cute. And then the back of the house, this is gonna be kind of hard to show because it gets dark when I point it at the windows, but she's got windows all along the back. And you've got a really pretty view of the backyard and the fields back there. I love it, but above the window, she actually has tons of leaves. There we go, I think you can see it now. So see all the leaves, so, so pretty. And I also love the chandelier in here. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, moving on to the master bedroom. She also decorated this for fall. She said I could come in here and kind of film it. Um, I think she normally has the pumpkins up here, but Brooks probably moved those. So um, that's where she has that, but she's got pictures on. She's got pictures up here. She's got some pumpkins and leaves all kinds of stuff. And then their headboard was a DIY my dad did. She has leaves up there, a really good candle. That one smells awesome. She's got some candlesticks. And then on the other side, she has like her Bible and stuff. And then she's got her pillows, which I love that rust color, you guys know. And then a really cozy rug down at the bottom. So she also has a fireplace in here and some more leaves and stuff so really really cute okay moving back we'll hit the entryway and then we will be wrapping this up so i'm not going to go and show every room in the house mainly just the ones that are decorated for fall so she also scored these ladders off of facebook marketplace a couple years ago i think they are so cool i love them they were i think they were out of an old barn so really cool they even have some engraving on them so both of them do actually it's really neat and then she's got blankets on there with some leaves and then a little gather sign and then here is the entryway so we're actually in it now she's got a little pendant in here and then a sign with their last name this was off of a facebook group and I don't even think the lady makes them anymore, but it is a huge sign, huge. And it is so pretty. So I think it's probably paint that it was done with, or maybe vinyl with a little bit of paint. Well, actually I think it might be paint now that I'm feeling it. So love that sign. She's got that. And then she also has a little console table that's got cute fall stuff in it, but she's got two lamps a little pumpkin with an H on it, some more wood beads, and then a blanket and sign and a tobacco basket with pumpkins. So, and then here's a view on the outside, little buffalo check mat. Super cute. All right, guys, that wraps up this home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing mom and dad's new house. I think it's beautiful. It's really relaxing coming over here. And I especially love the back porch and the views back there. I think it's really beautiful. So thank you guys so much for being here. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see lots more fall content. I have already done so many fall videos on my channel. I've done my home tour as well. So I will have that link down below if you guys haven't seen that yet. I also have tons of fall decor ideas, DIYs, recipes, a little bit of everything. So definitely go check those out. Make sure you like this video if you like their new house. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if there was a favorite area in the house that you guys loved. I'd love to see that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.